Welcome back. So now we're talking about observability and estimators. Okay, so before we were talking about controllability with A and B. Now we're talking about observability with A and C. And if a system is observable, can we build an estimator so that only given measurements of Y, we can reconstruct what the full state of the system is for use with uh, full state feedback control. So this is kind of the diagram I want you to have in the back of your head. We have a system with some measurements Y. We would like to have access to the full state so we could do LQR, but instead we have to go through this Kalman filter or this estimator to estimate the full state and then pass it through LQR. Okay? Um, now, observability is very, very, very much like controllability. In, in some sense, in terms of the linear algebra, this is, um, there's some duality between the pair AB and AC. And so in particular, um, we can, uh, how do I want to say this? So before we were looking at this, this controllability matrix B, A, B, A squared B, A cubed B, and so on and so forth, <coughs> now we're going to look at this observability matrix, curly O, and that's going to equal C, C A, C A squared, dot, 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 all the way down to C A to the N minus 1 where n minus 1, uh, where n is the dimension of my full state. Okay, so you'll notice, and I'm just going to write down here so you remember, the controllability matrix C was B, uh, A, B, A squared, B, dot, 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 A to the N, B. And so to some extent, these are starting to look very, very similar, except now this um, is kind of the transposed version, version of this. Okay, so if I, for example, wrote down um, a system x dot equals a transpose x plus uh, like c, y, and u equals b transpose um, x, you would get some kind of duality between these. So I'll let you work that out. But you have basically the same linear algebra for observability as you do for controllability. So I'm not going to beat this to death like we did for controllability. What I want you to know are there's things like uh, a rank condition. So the system is observable if the rank of this matrix equals n. Okay, the, the, if the row space of this, and now instead of the column space, if the row space of this spans Rn, then the system is observable. And in MATLAB, that's really easy to check. I look at, um, there's something called OBSV. I give it A and C. This builds this matrix. And then all I have to do is look at the rank of that observability matrix. So it's exactly the same as controllability, except now we're making sure that the rank of this matrix is uh, is full rank or spans Rn. Okay, so we want to make sure that this row space spans Rn. If it's observable, then given any state x, I can back out what that state is for measurements of y. So it's kind of like the reachability and controllability. This is um, really observability. I can I can estimate any x. Uh, from a time series of y. So if this is true, then I can estimate, I'm just going to write it in shorthand, I can estimate x from y. And what we're going to find is that this Kalman filter is actually going to be its own linear dynamical system. And the eigenvalues of that Kalman filter are going to tell me how fast x hat converges onto the true state of the system x. And so just like we could do eigenvalue placement with controllability, we can also do eigenvalue placement in the Kalman filter to make this estimator go faster or slower. And the reason we wouldn't want this to be arbitrarily fast uh, estimation is because maybe the system is corrupted with noise and disturbances. And if I make this Kalman filter too aggressive, it's going to um, overemphasize noise and disturbances. Okay, so there's some balance just like there was in the linear quadratic regulator. 
And the last thing I want to tell you is that, again, there is something called an observability Gramian. I'm not going to write it out, but it's very similar. Um, and so that observability Gramian is uh, a square n by n matrix. If I looked at its eigenvalues and eigenvectors, I'd figure out not just the binary condition of if the system is or is not observable, but I would get an idea of how observable the system is. And we can also look at the SVD of this observability matrix. So I could say in MATLAB, u sigma v equals SVD of this curly observability matrix. And of course, I would literally just type in OBSVAC here. And now we care about the row space. Of, uh, of this singular value decomposition. So now V, uh, the, the columns in V, or if you like, the rows in V transpose, are in order the most observable states in the state space. So just like in controllability, there will be some directions where it's easier to observe given measurements y. And when I say easier, I mean if there's noise, if there's measurement noise, I'll get a less noisy measurement of some directions than others. And so again, I can define this um, kind of ellipsoid, defined where the principal axes are these singular vectors, these right singular vectors of the observability matrix, or if you like, the eigenvectors of the observability Gramian. And what this tells me essentially is, in some directions, I'll have higher signal to noise than in others. So in the most observable directions, let's call this C1, I'll have um, higher signal to noise than in the less uh, observable directions. OK, so again, what we're actually going to do in practice is we're going to test the rank of this observability matrix to see if our system is observable, to see if we can build a common filter. Maybe we'll look at things like the SVD of this observability matrix to see what directions are going to have better signal to noise and so on and so forth. And then, just like in the uh, LQR case, we're going to build an optimal Kalman filter that optimally estimates the full state, given the fact that there's going to be some noise um, and probably some disturbances on the system. Okay, so that's all coming up. But for now, I just want you to know that observability basically completely leverages the same tools we have from controllability. Mathematically, they're basically the same problem.